If you are a speaker of a language such as Slovak, you might find it very strange that in English you don't say what you write. You write yellows, but you say jealous. Like many European languages, the English language uses the Roman alphabet. But that is a problem because the Roman alphabet is made up of 26 letters, but there are 44 sounds in the English language. And with the 26 letters, we can only write the words, their spelling, but we can't use it for the representation of sounds. What if we want to write down how to pronounce a word? For example, when you are learning English. Of course, you can use the Slovak alphabet for that purpose, but it looks unprofessional. It's not international, and it will always be incomplete because the Slovak alphabet doesn't contain letters for all the English sounds, of course. There is, however, an alphabetic system that can be used to write or put down pronunciation of each and every single word. The system is called the International Phonetic Alphabet. Let's start with phonetic symbols for English consonants, shall we? So, there is a lot of symbols in the phonetic alphabet that look like normal letters for consonants. You already know, we have, we have them in the Slovak alphabet. Uh, the phonetic transcript of a letter is often put in uh, into square brackets, as you see, these are square brackets. So here you can see that th these phonetic symbols actually look the same as the letter they represent. So here, for example, this is going to be the Slovak K in English is a little bit different and very often is aspirated. So it's K. This is M, N, P, B, T, D, F, V, L, R, and H. Yeah, so these are this is how they sound, but uh, their representation, their symbols are the same as the letters. So let's start with the uh, symbols that don't look like normal letters, and uh, they may be more difficult for you to understand. And the first letter, it looks like a little bit like a like a hook, and it's a uh, Slovak sh. So, for example, uh, this is um, transcribed. Phonetically, so it's she. When you combine t and sh together, they're ch. So this this uh, symbol represents ch, and you can see it, for example, in the word check. So, so this is the phonetic transcription of the word ch, e, and k. This looks like three flipped 180 degrees and it's zh, like Slovak, even in the Slovak language we have this letter, it's the same thing in, in national phonetic alphabet, it's like this, it's like this three and you can see it for example in the word mirage, so it's at the end of the word right here, mirage. Next one is combination of d and z. we have it in the Slovak language as well, this boy is uh, j, and for example, you can see it in a word jam. Yeah, okay. This is a strange looking N, right? This is a N with a little hook here, and actually, it's a combination of N and d, and it's uh. It's also like uh, when you have N f uh, followed by K. In the Slovak language, we have this sound as well. And uh, have it, for example, in these words. So try to say it for yourself. Hanka 
or banka. So it's not you don't say hanka or banka. You say hanka. So this is a ng ng nasal. You say it with your nose a little bit. So it's nasal an. Uh, sing, for example, it's sing. You don't say sing. Sing. No, no, no. It's not n sing. It's sing. So if you want to learn it, we will speak about it later in one of my videos. But uh, very quickly, it's like in the word, for example, it's a word hanka. So it's this ng sound. So the same thing here. It's the phonetic representation of this ng sound. This is strange looking zero. Uh, like. Um, with like a little little line in the middle, and it's nothing else but th, yeah, like in the word think, for example. And this is its friend, uh, its voiced friend. This is th, and this is the, like in the word this. We don't have this in the Slovak language. Okay, so these were consonant sounds uh, that uh, we saw the phonetic symbol symbols off, and we are going to go on with the uh, vowel sounds in the English language. And some people say they are more complicated because there are many of them, and their pronunciation, as well as uh, the symbols that we use for their phonetic transcription can be a little bit uh, harder or more difficult to learn for English learners.